So here we got a horizon line. And I want to draw some, we'll do it simply with some poles, first of all. And I got a vanishing point down here. So I draw the line that's going to represent the top of the poles. And then I draw a line that's going to represent where the poles hit the ground or the bottom of the poles that goes out to the vanishing point. And I draw the first pole up here. Now I'm going to take a guess just at how far the first pole and the second pole are apart from each other. So I'll say, oh, it starts about here. I want a pole to land right about there. But I want to get these poles spaced with the same kind of spacing all the way down here, let's say. One of the ways to do that without just trying to eyeball it and trying to figure out, oh, does that look too close? Is that too far away? Is to draw an X between the first two poles, like that. And then I kind of get a midpoint, like that. Now I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint of that over to the vanishing point, like this. Okay? Now, to get the placement of the third pole, all I have to do is to go from the first pole, go through this horizontal, the intersection of this horizontal midline and the second pole, where those two, pole, those two meet, I can draw a line between those two, a line all the way through that, and where that line comes and hits the bottom down here is the line of the third pole. Since I've got that one, I can do the next one, the fourth pole, right through the line of the top of the second pole, down through the middle of the third pole, and where it strikes the bottom line, I've got the fourth pole coming down through that line. And so on and so forth. I'm going to do the same thing. And I can go and go and go and go and go and go until it goes down to that. So there's, that represents all the poles that would be equally spaced, and that can go for anything. Trees, people, fence posts, anything that's regular. I could turn this thing like that, and now I've got a railroad track with the ties going across it. I could have cracks in a sidewalk that do that. A whole number of things that can happen. And that's a way to measure and order um, spaces between objects. Mm -hmm.